Okay, this is a follow-up video. So after I drove three times so far with this setup, um, I noticed it ripped open, the, this two rivet. So what I did, this one, originally had one, two, three, four, five, six. So after I drill out this two, this two got ripped off the carpet. I have decided to re-rev it, one, two, three, four, all on this end. They're very close to each other. So the spider web will actually interlock, will not allow the carpet to move. And also this one, the extra one right here. I also uh, rev it this one. So now every single hole is revved in. Because I guess I have the fire extinguisher float off the ground when I mount it. And the weight when it pulls the fire extinguisher around, causing this thing to be ripped. Okay. And also, now it's not, not going anywhere. It's very strong. And there's not even a point. It used to just all depend on this rivet to hold everything back. So now it's almost like a button. How you do, how you, it's almost like how you make a letter, letter back. Yes. Also, the pin, the pin came out of this. So the, originally the pin was set up to be on this end. How it comes in the box. Because that's where the plastic is. And the pin just went loose. So I went ahead and did this loop around. And I, and I, and basically using the, yeah. Sorry, blocking this, holding it with the wrong hand. So I loop the pin around to the other side. So this way the pin won't just pull out based on the, just basically on the driving portion of it. They will actually keep the pin in. Um, I'm even thinking about what I can do is to put a little putty right here. Some kind of plastic cap too. So when I prevent the pin to slide out. But when I do need to pull it, the putty or whatever will just fall right off. And there's, a, there's this much play before this thing goes off. So after I put it in, I went ahead and just push it all the way down. So it looks like this. So it looks like... Let me go ahead and put this back in. Okay. 